we have a tendency to view Brunebonia and places like Tara and Rathcrohan as archaeological landscapes, which they are, of course. But perhaps when we use such rigid and functional labels, we forget that these are also mythological landscapes, places associated with great deities and personages and characters and warriors. In the short anecdote, the Gawal in Shida, the taking of the Shi or Otherworld Mound, the chief deity Dagda distributes the mounds to the Tuatadanon, reserving Shidinbroga, Newgrange, for himself. His son Angus, the Mock Og, petitions him for a dwelling, but the Dagda tells him, I have nothing for you. I have finished the distribution. Angus asks him for Sheedin Broga for a night and a day, which Dagda grants him. However, next day Angus refuses to leave because the whole world is day and night, and that is what has been granted me. The Dagda is forced to yield the great brew to his son. There was a long-standing tradition about the mound in the photograph, which was taken by drone at Newgrange Farm a while back. This mound is labelled unremarkably as Mound B or Tumulus B on archaeological maps. But long before these archaeological charts with their functional and disempowering lettering conventions, that mound was the subject of an old belief and had a name. It was known, even up until the 19th century, as the Dogda's Mound. Tradition had preserved an idea perhaps emerging from the ancient story of the Gawal in Shida, that this was the mound to which Dagda went after his son Angus took Shidinbroga from him. In calling it Mound B, we deprive it of that tradition. We know from various manuscripts containing the Danchanicus, the lore of the ancient places, that in former times all the monuments at Brunebonia had names and were associated with deities or people or marvellous animals or creatures. We should, I think, make every effort to restore the old names to these monuments and archaeological remnants, lest their romance is extinguished in the bland text of some academic monologue. Looking at this photo, I see Dagda as a solar deity, shining his light upon his own mound. And suddenly the landscape assumes a magical, austere and powerful aura. It is no longer a vapid, vacuous heap of earth. It is a she, a hallowed and inscrutable sanctuary from which the deities emerge from an old but ever-present other world into this one. Let it be known as the Dogda's Mound. Let's take Mound B off the map, lest all our oldest lore be willfully attenuated or lost altogether to the deadening hand of the archaeological cartographer. <laughs>